Hi guys. <laughs> it's Amy from Little Farm Quilts. Um, I have my microphone a little closer. I went back and listened to my last video and the sound just sounds weird to me. It might be because the one of the heat vents is like right up here and that could be why. It's hums in the background. But it is Friday, March 20th. The sun is out. The sun has been out off and on all day. It is warm here today. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the craziness of the week. If you are a regular watcher, thanks so much. I appreciate it. Um, let's see. Today was day one of my husband and I both working from home. Um, as you guys know, I'm a nurse manager, so my team is out in the field. I manage them, so um, office staff. Uh, a lot of us are working from home because we can and because it's been asked of us and it's the right thing to do, I guess. Um, so my dining room looks like an office. One of our bedrooms looks like an office, but it worked out well today. I'm not going to complain. Um, just It is what it is. You got to do what you got to do, right? And this is going to be a real short check-in for Friday. I'm going to try to get this up before, I don't know, before it's too late because I end up waiting up until way too late to see if it uploads and things like that and I don't get to look at the thumbnail. And I don't really have a lot to show you. I'm not going to show you any stitching today, but it is going to be cross-stitch craft sewing related. So, that's, so I have a funny story. A while ago when I bought this pattern from my LNS, um, Spring ABCs by Little House Needleworks, it was actually the summer chart that was in the package, not the spring chart. So I reordered the spring ABCs because I figured I wanted the summer anyway, so that's the chart. And I can't show you, but I did get the spring chart in this one. <laughs> it's a funny story. I am going to do a thread toss, I think, tonight and figure out what I want to use to start that because I do want to get working on that. I think it'll be a relatively quick stitch. Um, it is long. But it's narrow. Um, and I think it'll be a quick stitch, but I'm going to do a floss toss. I'm not using the called for, and I will let you guys know what I'm using. That is that. The other thing I've done since I talked to you last night was I had a little adventure in Monaco dyeing. So I've dyed Monaco before, I've coffee and tea dyed Monaco before, I've rip dyed Monaco before, and then coffee and tea dyed it and then not coffee and tea dye. And I've done all sorts of things. I was trying, um, I wanted to try something different to get a little more modeling from the dye on the fabric. And I think I accomplished, I was really disappointed at first, but once it dried and I got it ironed out, um, I, th I think I'm kind of happy with it. I'm not quite sure. I think I know one project I'm stitching on this. Um, and I'll have to look through my others because I really kind of like it. So, here's, I had white Monaco and I had the, the Monaco that you can buy tea, already tea dyed. And I dyed them all. So this I did, I want to say charcoal gray is what I used. And um, so here's my first piece. This was on the white. This is the one side and you know both sides look a little different so this is one side and this is the other and I really like the gray I think so if you I don't know if I have any right here I have bright fabrics when you put bright colors against a gray they really pop so I'm, I'm holding some fabric squares because that's what I have here but see how they really pop and that's kind of what I was going for. And actually this side, um, some of the dye pooled in one area. You see those kind of, and I actually like that a lot. Um, for an appropriate project, that would be good. Here's a second piece of the white that I did this with. And the other side. The white's kind of, I'm just trying to hold it cockeyed because the light's, I think, washing out a little bit. But there you go. And this is the third piece of the white. 
And this had a flaw in the fabric, in the weave of the fabric. I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see it on camera. So right here, right, see it? You can see it, that teardrop. That's actually a flaw in the fabric weave. Um, not anything that happened in the dyeing process. And I can, I'll work around that. But here you go. There's this one. And again, some of the darker spots on this. And this side. And I, um, when I get done dyeing, I generally zigzag the edges because I don't like them fraying all the time. So I have to finish doing that tonight too. I did iron them all. And this, it, now this one I'm, I don't think I'm happy with and I think I may go back. I don't know. I may go back and add like a teal or aqua to it and maybe some navy blue and see if I can make it more of like a night sky kind of thing. Um, I, I did it with the tea dyed and I'm, I'm not sure about that. I mean, if I stitched Halloween, I think that would be awesome because, you know, the bright oranges and purples and blacks, you know, that Halloween would pop on this and look very nice. I don't stitch Halloween. And I honestly don't know in my mind, oh, I should show you the other side. I don't know in my mind what I actually thought it was going to look like, but I might have to go through... I don't know. I may have to, oops, I just knocked my microphone over. I may have to go through my pattern stash and see if I have something that would work, that I think would work on that. Um, but I do think I'm going to add like blues and greens to it and try to make it into something different. I'm not, I'm not sure, like I said, if I stitch Halloween, I would so put that on there, but I, I don't stitch Halloween, and I'm, it's not like I'm going to start stitching Halloween just because I have fabric. I just, I'm, shoot me, I'm not a Halloween fan, so, um, <laughs> yeah, and there's reasons for that, but I don't know, I get, you know, I just get freaked out by some of that stuff, but anyway, um, I'm a wuss when it comes to Halloween. That's a good way to put that. I'm a wuss. Um. Yeah, so I don't know. I may try tonight putting some blues and greens on it, and then, um, I don't know, go from there and see how it comes out. I have plenty of tea dyed fabric that I can choose from for other stuff, so it's not that I care. I just want to make it into something that I will use for something. Even if it's like a one color. Quaker sampler, do you know what I mean? And make it in a, a solid background that I can use. I just, I'm not liking this. But like I said, this video is super short. Like, I'm not even at 10 minutes. I have nothing else to show you guys. We had a decent day. I think that um, both of us working from home, I just worry that we're going to get so tired of each other if this goes on for a long period of time. I mean, man, I are pretty happily married, so I can't imagine that would be happening. But it's not like we're home together all the time and we're able to do stuff. Uh, we're in upstate New York and Governor Cuomo has gone on today. And Oh, I have more to show you. I almost forgot. Um, anyway, he, he kind of deepened the things that we're doing in New York State, and so we can't really do much of anything. Um, but we're making the best of it. I mean, why not? You gotta, right? It was a nice day here. We went outside for a while, took care of our ducks, checked on our bees, put a pollen feeder out for them. Um, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. My office here has a darn better view than my one at work, so, you know, hey. So, I almost forgot to show you this. This would have been like almost a crime. On Tuesday, Fat Quarter Shop had, you know, they had their daily deals. And, um, why am I missing something? There it is. Um, and of course, Tuesday was St. Patrick's Day. So, they had a spool of orifil thread, green, and I got it because 
I can see me using that. I mean, if you saw my thread storage with all my long arm threads, you'd totally understand why I got this because I like the bright colors when quilting. I do. That's not often what my customers want. But this particular green would look very good on the Frolic Mystery Quilt that I'm putting together right now. So, I got that. I got another pair of embroidery scissors. So my husband's like, how many pairs of scissors do you actually have? Um, I don't know. It's a problem. I get it. But they're green with green polka dots. I mean, look at them. I, I love these little scissors. And the more I have, the more I can put them in my project bags. These are embroidery. They're called Green Dot 3.5 inch needle point tip embroidery scissors. And I think they were a buck something on the daily deal. 24 hour flash sale, I should say. And then they had a needle carrying card. Green, of course. Which I think that would come in handy. Especially when we travel. See? Comes in all different colors. It's credit card size, which is good. And it's got. It's almost like a plasticky vinyl, and it's got places for your needles to slide in, and it, it would be a tight grip on them for sure. And the best part of the whole thing, I am a super tulip pink fan. Super tulip pink. Like, I just ordered a Fat Clear bundle of her homemade product line, fabric line that just came out. Um, I have one, two three three fat quarter bundles of other of her product lines here and they had a green tulip pink greenery fat quarter bundle on the flash sale for like 23 bucks like I'm not passing that up for nothing nothing even though some of these fabrics I probably I might no I don't think I have any of Yes, I do have some of them. But isn't that pretty? I'm not unwrapping it. I will take it out of the plastic. That I will do because it's prettier when it sits here and it's not wrapped in the plastic. So let's get it out of the plastic. Probably need those free, those scissors. But here you go. I mean, look at that. everything from you know a light to kind of these tealy aquas to these grass greens can you see them how pretty and I love these I love 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 them so I'm gonna add them the fabric over the shoulder see it back there I have Lori Holt fabric and tulip pink um, and some Coriolder fabric back there these are my faves and that's why they're not cut up, I think. I really need to start cutting some of them up and make some things with it. I hung last year's Fat Quarter Shop charity quilt was called Threadology. And I used tulip pink fabric, one of my Fat Quarter bundles, to make that quilt. I hung it up today. I took my snowflake quilt that I designed down off my quilt rack and I hung up the Threadology quilt alongside an Angela Walters pattern that I did with lots of blues and greens in it. But the spool, the Threadology quilt is one big spool. I kind of folded it so all the tulip pink fabrics on the outside and I hung it on that and it just made me happy. And I think those are the things that you need to do, especially during times like this. You do the stuff that makes you happy. Like I told my husband, I'm going through the house and I'm not a massive decorator like Priscilla and Chelsea, but I do like to change things over with the seasons and freshen things up a little bit. And this weekend, I'm going to work on freshening things up. I may make some more pillow covers for my living room that are bright and cheerful and maybe out of tulip pink fabrics, maybe out of some of Cory Order's fabrics. Maybe I'll combine the two. I don't know. But I think, yeah. I think especially in times like we're in right now, when the stress of the situation can just overwhelm, it's really important to 
use your resources and make your home something you're happy to sit in. Uh, I have a friend that quilts with me, Deb, my mom that crafts with me, and I will be FaceTime. I'm not FaceTiming because I don't, I don't have an iPhone, but I will be video chatting with them because tomorrow is National Quilting Day. So I will be communicating with them both at some point in the day tomorrow, and we will be quilting and sewing and still kind of getting together, but over the tools that we can use. So I think that that's the most important part. I want to say sorry to everybody. Some of my videos this week, I've been really, really tired, so I don't think I came across happy at all, and I don't think I helped you guys at all. But um, it certainly did help me through the week. I'm glad we're at Friday. I suspect that I will be um, very busy this weekend. Um... Sewing, crafting, getting together with my friends over my phone, and just doing what we can do to make life a little better. So stay calm, craft on. I'd love to see what you're doing. So if you want to send me pictures of what you're working on at a little farm quilts at gmail.com, I would love to see it. So um, please, by all means, reach out. Let's be a community. And we're all going to get through this together. Happy Friday.